What's up? So my name's Tyler. I go by Zany Online. That over there is Buddy. He's my great dog. We're uh, in a in a guest bedroom right now. I'm getting an Ethernet cord hooked up in my room. All that good stuff. And forgive the crazy hair. I I got to get ready for work here soon. So you know, I didn't even think about getting my hair nice for a video. I wanted to show you guys kind of what I've been working on with the wiki and my configuration. If you're unfamiliar with what I've been working on lately, I have gotten very addicted to NixOS. I, I love it. And I'm, you know, running my own configuration of Hyperland with a theme changing script, nice way bar, different styles that you can choose from. Eventually it'll have Rofi themes and stuff. If you're not familiar with Rofi, it's an application menu starter um, launcher. Uh, you can kind of think it, think of it the same kind of way that you would think about your uh, app launcher on a program. I actually even have over here on my desktop, I do have a little like start menu button that loads up Rofi and then you can just choose programs that you want to open up. And so here's NeoVide. This is a graphical version of my text editor, which I'm still working on improving that. So I need to add a dedicated page for it as well in this wiki here. This right here is actually the wiki for my config. If you want it, I'll put a direct link down in the description of this video. It's also just available on my GitLab. If you go, if you go to my GitLab, you'll see all the other projects I have there, like my dot files, my website, which speaking of which, if you don't know, I, I am actually going to be updating it. I've been wanting to post an article I've been working on, but you can go over here. I've written some articles. I've got um, other stuff. I need to update it with my any OS and stuff, but I do have a website. Uh, it's been unmaintained for a while, but I'm working on updating it, getting it all nice. But you can you can see all peruse all my other projects and stuff if you want to on GitLab. But here you're gonna see it does describe what it is gives you a little picture of what my system looks like, which over time, things about this configuration will change and you know, it won't be the same as this picture here because you can see my bar is a little different, but this bar style that you see in this picture is actually available here. Sorry for the hard pop over, but you can see it's actually right here inside of the options file. Now, let me go ahead and get to the part of the video that really makes this different from my last wiki video or maybe any of the other ones I've posted explaining my flake. I have made quite a few changes to the flake recently. So what you'll notice about my flake that's new is there's an extra file called the options.nix in the top level directory with the flake.nix, your system.nix, hardware, and home. That options.nix is the file that I was just showing. It has a whole bunch of options like your Git username, Git email, the theme that you want, uh, which is based off the base 16 color schemes. Again, you can go to the wiki that will be in the description and you'll be able to see there's a theming page and it explains everything, where those themes come from, where you can find all of the themes that you can use, all that good stuff. There's also options for enabling, you know, Caden Live. Caden Live is not a, not a small program by any definition. So that's put in there as an option that you can enable disable. Obviously I need it because if I switch over to my desktop, you'll see I'm actually literally in recording this in the process of editing the video. So I need Caden Live. I also want things like Blender and all other sorts of things. So those are all defined in options. The flake.nix and the options.nix are for 99% of you, the only files you're going to need to edit in my flake. You're going to do the initial install process, which in that process, you're going to change the username and host name of your system in the flakes. And then inside of the options, you're going to define all of the things that you want to happen inside of your user's home folder, as well as all the things that you want to happen to the system configuration that are separate from my configuration. 
Another thing that I am going to be covering in the wiki that it's not in there yet, just like the options, uh, I, I do have a page for options inside of the wiki that does not have anything there yet. I have work today. That's kind of why my hair is crazy. I've already said this, I got work. So I haven't updated those pages. Eventually we're going to have an option for alacrity because I know that's one of the things that is pretty popular. It's when it comes to really good, like fast GPU accelerated terminals, you're either going to be using Kitty or Alacrity and most people use one of those terminals. So I'm going to be making that an option. But like, let's say you don't want to have to go and edit my Bash RC, like you're fine with the settings I have for Bash off the rip, but you want something extra. I actually source some direct some fall uh, some files that you can put in your home directory to add on. For example, I source a file in your home directory. I believe it's .bashrc personal. Um, I believe that's what the file is called. But again, all of those options that optional files that you can add that are actually going to be sourced by my config will be inside of that options page eventually. I'm working on it kind of busy at the moment, but working on it. So the idea of the flake is going to be, there's two files that you have to edit inside of the flake itself. And then as long as you're fine with everything that I'm using um, and that you've enabled inside of those two files, then for any additional configuration that you may want on top of that, I'm gonna to try to source files inside of your home directory. That way you don't have to mess with my config. You can update the flake uh, with a very simple process that's also defined on the wiki and n not have to copy back in a whole bunch of custom program or uh, you know program configurations, stuff like that, hopefully. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for spending the time out of your day to listen to me ramble, to to be interested in my project. And I, I cannot stress this enough. My main focus and goal here is making your life easier getting into NixOS. I really do love NixOS. I think it's incredible and amazing, but there's no denying that there is a steep learning curve to getting into it. So if you've always wanted a nice tiling window manager, you've always wanted a, you know, a Wayland nice animated, a just a beautiful environment. My goal is to give that to you as a solid foundation to build and learn off of. That's the core idea of my project. I hope you find it helpful. At the very least, even if it's not helpful to you, I hope it's a project or a goal that you can get behind. If it is, I just wanna let you know there's many ways that you can go around financially supporting this project. And one of the reasons that I don't really have any qualms about pushing a financial agenda is the more money that I make, that the more money that you guys give me from specifically doing this makes it to where I don't potentially have to eventually have a full-time job where I can't be around to help everyone out. I, I do want to have the ability to spend as much time, not just working on learning NixOS, on improving my skill set with NixOS, but helping you, but helping others get into NixOS and solve problems that they run into in NixOS. So if you wanna help out, I do have a Patreon that you can go over to. I'll go ahead and say thank you to all the people that are over there supporting me. I do actually need to look at a list because I don't wanna forget any of the new names on the list. Um, Michael or Mikkel, I'm not sure I'm horrible at, at names. I've talked about this before, but if I butcher your username, I'm sorry. Uh, Grizzlyware, uh, D-Dubs, Four, Dark Zero, Russell, Nate Pick, or just Nate. Uh, he's a great guy. He edits for Matt and a whole bunch of, does a whole bunch of other stuff for the community. Forlorn Idealist, Zach, TGB, Papa Smurf, and Matt from the Linux cast. Thank all you guys for being over there and supporting me. I also want to say thank you to my Patre uh, Patreon, my YouTube channel members as well. This is another avenue that you can go down to help me. And, you know, you get a little badge on YouTube. So 
thank you guys very much for the support. And there's a whole bunch of other ways that I have that you can support. Uh, I've got merch. You can go and get some merch. That's nice. Uh, you, I've got Libra pay. If you don't like, you know, Patreon, I've, I've co I think I've even got Ko-Fi and, um, buy me a coffee. So however you want to go about supporting what I'm doing, there's a way to do it. And thank you guys for the interest. So many of you guys have been just so kind. Thank you. It means a lot. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one before too long. Peace.